Daf Yomi, Tractate Bav Metzia, page 76b, top of the page, with the words Hachi Hashta. How can these cases be compared? Granted, if the opposite was stated, uh, in other words, if it, in a case where the woman said, Receive my bill of divorce for me. And the agent said to the husband, Your wife said, Bring me my bill of divorce. And the husband said, Here you are. As she said, and Rav Nachman says, that Rav Bar Avu says, that Rav says, from when the bill of divorce reaches the agent's possession, she is divorced. It would be understandable. Apparently, the husband relies on her statement that the agent is an agent of receipt. Alternatively, had Rav Nachman ruled, from when the bill of divorce reaches her possession, she is divorced. One could conclude that evidently the husband relies on the agent's statement. And based on that statement, the agent is designated as an agent for delivery. But there, in the case cited, Rav Nachman rules that she is not divorced it is not because the husband relies on one statement or the other. Rather, it is due to the fact that by means of his statement, the agent negates his agency entirely. As he said to the husband, I am an agent for receipt, meaning I am not to be an agent for delivery. He is essentially saying that he is not prepared to go to the trouble of delivering the bill of divorce to her. Therefore, even if he does ultimately deliver the bill of divorce to her, he is an agent neither for the woman nor for the husband. No conclusion can be drawn with regard to the question of which statement the husband relies upon. The Gemara had assumed that the term deceived used in the Mishnah must be referring to an inaccuracy stated by the middleman in his discussion with the laborers. The Gemara now offers alternative explanation, if you wish, say, that when the Mishnah teaches they deceived one another, it means that one of the parties reneged on the agreement. This is, as this Tana also calls a circumstance described by the term reneged, meaning that either the employer or the laborers reneged on their agreement by the term deceived, as it is taught in a Brita in a similar manner, with regard to one who hires artisans or laborers, and they deceived the employer, or the employer deceived them, they have nothing but a grievance against one another, and no monetary claim. The bride to continues, in what case is this statement said, when they did not go to the workplace? In other words, the employer reneged immediately. But if donkey drivers went and could not find any produce to carry, or laborers went off to work and found that the field was too moist for tilling, the employer must give them their full wages to which they are entitled. But he does not give them the entire stipulated amount as a donkey driver who comes back loaded cannot be compared to one who comes back empty, nor can a laborer who performs work be compared to one who is idle, who sits idle. The, the employer deducts the sum from the laborer's wages, paying them the amount they are willing to receive, given that they do not actually have to perform the work. In what case is this settlement statement, in what case is the statement that if they reneged, they only have a grievance, it said. When they had not started the work at all. But if they had started the work, the court appraises for them that which they have done, for which they receive some form of compensation. How so? If they receive standing grain to reap for a contractual agreement, of to sell off for the entire field 
and they reaped half of it, and left half of it, or if they took a garment to weave at to Selah, and they weaved half of it, and left half of it, in these cases the court praises for them that which they have done. The bride to details this appraisal. If the current wage for the part of the task they had done was not worth six dinars, a sella and a half, as the price for this assignment decreased, either he gives them a sella, as originally agreed upon, since they do not forfeit their stipulated wages, or they finish their work and take two sella. And if the current wage for the part of the task they had done was worth a sella, he gives them a sella. This statement will be explained by the Gemara. Rabbi Dosa says the court appraises for them that which must still be done. If the current wage or the part of the task they had not done was worth six dinars, in other words, he can only find laborers who will complete it for six dinars, which is equivalent to one and a half sella. Either he gives the first labor is a shekel, which is equivalent to have a sella, or they finish their work and take two sella. And if the current wage for the part of the task they had not done was worth a sella, he gives them a sella. The brighter continues. The brighter continues. In, w- in what case is the statement said? In other words, in what circumstance are the laborers paid for the amount they performed and the employer has only a grievance against them? It is said with regard to a matter that does not involve financial loss due to the work stoppage, but with regard to a matter that involves financial loss due to the work stoppage, the employer may hire the replacement laborers for a high price at the expense of the first laborers or deceive the first laborers. How does he deceive them? For example, he can say to them, I fix to sell as wages for you. Come and take two. And up to what amount may he hire at their expense? Even up to 40 or 50 dinars, he can pay other laborers far more than the first laborer's wages to ensure that the work is completed. In what case is the statement said? In other words, in what circumstance may the employer deceive them to such an extent in order to ensure that the work is completed? When there are no other labor, uh, laborers there, in that place to hire. Since the laborer will suffer heavy loss, he may resort to one of these methods. But if there are laborers there to hire, and laborers who renege said to the employer, go and hire from these, the employer has nothing but a grievance against them. The Thomas taught that Bryce bright before Rob. The employer must give them their full wages. Rob said to him, my uncle, Rabbi Chia, Chavivi Amar, my uncle Rebekia said, if I were ruling in this case, I would give them only the wages of an idle laborer, but no more. And yet you said that he gives them their full wages? The Gemara asks, what the bride teaches concerning this very matter? A donkey driver who comes back loaded cannot be compared to one who comes back empty. Nor can a laborer who performs work be compared to one who sits idle. Evidently, even the Tana of the Brayta agrees that they do not receive their full wages. The Gemara answers, the Tana teaches the Brayta before Rav did not conclude it. The Tana teaches the Brayta before Rav did not conclude it. And he was unaware of this limitation, which is why he com- commented that they do not deserve their entire wages. There, is, there are those who say that the Tana indeed concluded it before him, and this is what Rav is saying. My uncle said, if I were ruling on this case, I would not give them anything. And yet you said that he gives them the wages of an idle laborer. The Gemara questions this version, but this is difficult. 
How can one account for the difference between the ruling of the Brita and that of Rav? Rav's uncle of Chia. Lo Kashia. The Gemara says it's not difficult. As in this case, when Rabbi Chia would rule that the laborers are not paid at all, it is referring to one who surveyed his land the night before, observed that it was fit to be tilled and hired laborers on the basis of this examination. It is their misfortune that something occurred in the meantime to prevent to prevent them from carrying out the task. Conversely, that case where the brighter rules that they are given some payment is referring to a landowner who did not survey his land the night before. Since he failed to check his own field, he must bear the responsibility. This is like that which Rava said with regard to one who hires laborers to till and rain, fill and filled his land with water, preventing the laborers from performing the work. If he surveyed his land the night before and did all he could, 